Uh, in more news tonight, Oxford High School students are heading back to class this Thursday amid a lot of uncertainty. The district reaching out to parents this week with updated safety plans, and those are getting mixed reviews so far. Mara McDonald live in Oxford tonight, and some of the new tech being used here has uh, parents pleased, Mara. That's right, Devin. I mean, the, the new um, systems they're putting in place that can detect weapons, parents say, yes, that's great. What they are still concerned about, this updated threat assessment policy. Let me show you why. When students return here Thursday, there will be plenty of new tech and equipment in place. There is progress. Uh, we have the Evolve system coming in, which is basically um, a metal detector and we also have the zero eyes. So we are excited about that coming in. Um, the students had wanted that. Students and parents lobbied for this. In addition, the school board reviewed its beefed up threat assessment policy. We're now gonna have three, four people involved in every single threat assessment. And we've been doing, last year, I heard about five to seven a day, right? So the key is working with our children from a, an emotional state Parents say without a full accounting of what led up to the shooting last November, it's hard to know whether it's enough. The staffing, the, tr the, the training for staff, and the support for our staff is what we're lacking. Parents have repeatedly asked for an independent third-party investigation after the school board turned down AG Dana Nessel's multiple offers to conduct a review and bear the cost. The district reversed course and has a law firm out of Grand Rapids and investigators out of New York hired to review. Parents are dubious. This will be truly independent. Back here alive in speaking to Andrea Jones, one of the parents you heard from, she says in her estimation, one of two things happened last November. Either the policies in place were not followed or the policies as written were not effective in changing the outcome here. Either way, there needs to be a change, but what is the change? What does it need to be if you don't have a full accounting of what happened here? I will say this, the school board made it clear that they have rallied their, rallied their resources, they are ready for return to school, and they are well aware that students and staff are going to need care and support. We're live in Oxford tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. And it is just about here. All right, Mara.